With it being recently announced that Patrick Williams has suffered a pretty se- serious injury to his foot and will miss at least another two weeks, if not more, the Bulls get a positive injury update on Torrey Craig. We're going to talk about it all the more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. I'm the host, Terry Hayes, but more importantly, you guys can follow the channel at Bulls Central Pod on every social media platform we happen to be on. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the content for today. So right before the game, which is actually going on right now, you guys should know that I very much so love you. The fact that I'm doing and recording this episode during an active game because I don't miss Bulls games for anything. But right before the game started, uh, Billy Donovan gave a pretty nice update in regards to the return of of Kobe White. Billy Donovan saying this, that he's had no setbacks upon his initial rehab and and evaluation period, and that while Craig won't play in back-to-backs, he could return as early as Saturday's game. He's been sidelined since mid-December, so with Patrick Williams being out, missing some extended time, the the possibility of now getting back Torrey Craig could be huge for the Bulls, again, to come in at that power forward position get some needed shooting, some defense as well. We know Torrey Craig, his stats haven't been amazing, right? They don't jump out the gym for you. 6.1 points per game, five rebounds per game, one assist on 42% uh, overall shooting. But when you look at the month of December he was having before he went down with injury, he was averaging 9.6 points per game, which is cool, right? But he was doing that on 48% shooting and he was shooting the ball 53% from the field, taking four three-pointers per game while chipping in five rebounds right under assists per game, basically one steal per game and about a half a block per game. So Torrey Craig was giving the Bulls solid bench production, um, you know, in that time period. So, you know, Torrey Craig is one of those players that doesn't need a whole hell of a lot of minutes to be productive, and the Bulls definitely miss him. And he just, he's a he's an ultimate role player. He understands just how he needs to impact a game. He can fit in with just about any lineup in any rotation. And he did become one of Billy Donovan's most trusted players, even briefly stepping in and becoming the starting power forward when Patrick Williams is going through another kind of one of his down periods. So he's played 27 games so far for the Bulls. He started seven of those games, and he played, like I said, solidly for what his role is. Torrey Craig's never going to be one of those players that averages double-digit points per game. That's just not his role. It's not, not always in scoring, but what he brings uh, defense-wise, what he brings rebounding-wise, what he brings in shot blocking sometimes, making some of those momentum plays that we really have been missing since like Derrick Jones Jr. and Javante Green have left this team. Even though he's not the athlete of those guys, he's a pro that just understands his role and how to bu- go about his business to help impact winning. So if Torrey Craig makes his return on Saturday, it would really help bolster some of the uh, the depth mi- that we're missing on this Bulls team at a position of need. Now, what does that mean for Julian Phillips, Dalen Terry, some players that have been playing more minutes? That remains to be seen, and we'll see what happens with that ultimately. But Torrey Craig coming back here at the beginning of February is actually him coming back a little bit earlier than what that initial projection was if he comes back Saturday. Don't be surprised if it doesn't necessarily happen, but we know that at least he's nearing his return, won't play back-to-backs initially, uh, and the soonest that we can now see Torrey Craig return to the Chicago Bulls team is going to be Saturday against the Sacramento Kings. And hey, listen, the Bulls, as they as they continue to try to play better leading up to the trade deadline, we'll see what happens after the trade deadline. We need all hands on deck. This will put Torrey Craig's return being uh, just five days before the trade deadline. We initially thought he may be out a little bit after the trade deadline. So hey, as of right now, positive uh, uh, injury update uh, while we got a negative one earlier today and let's see how it ends up helping the Chicago Bulls in the long run but let me know what you guys think down below on Torrey Craig pending making his return back to the Chicago Bulls make sure you guys are following the show at Bulls Central Pod you can send us any feedback questions comments concerns BullsCentralPod at gmail.com and then lastly if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail the number to do so 773-270-2799 we are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related thanks to you guys and like like in every episode on, go Bulls. Love you guys. See you right if you can, y'all. Peace. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. 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 Media.